starting with the 2011 version, ADS has used workspaces to help you organize and store the data generated when you create, simulate, and analyze designs. All design work must be done in a workspace. You can switch into a workspace by navigating to your workspace location in File View, then clicking on the Workspace folder. In order to master ADS, it's important to know the terminology of the ADS workspace. Every workspace will contain some number of libraries. When first created, a workspace will directly contain one library, and it will reference other libraries that you selected, such as ADS libraries or process design kits. Cells exist inside libraries and contain the various views of a design. These views can be schematics, layouts, or symbols. The symbol is the representation of all the views in a cell. This way, you can include the cell inside other schematics and layouts in a more concise manner. To create a new workspace, select the Create a New Workspace icon. Select a workspace name and the directory to put it in. Note that your workspace name should not contain spaces. You can select which libraries will be included in your workspace. By default, ADS will come with ADS libraries and site libraries. User favorite libraries and PDKs have to be added manually. The library name that you select will be the name of the library that will contain your designs. Libraries keep your workflow consistent by maintaining the same technologies and the same units throughout the cells contain. Now that you've created your workspace, you can start creating layouts and schematics for your designs. Thank you for watching this Keysight ESOF EDA tutorial. You can find a link to a free trial of ADS in the video description below.